Hello everyone, I'm Bo Wen Wen. I'm glad to present our paper Cat Grasp, learning category level task relevant grasping in clutter from simulation. In this work, we aim to find the grasps that are not only stable, but also the same grasp poles can be directly transported for downstream manipulation tasks. A line of research approached this objective by crowdsourcing large scale real world data and annually annotate the affordance labels of segmentations or key points, which can be costly. The human labeling process also introduced bias and noise to the training labels. In contrast, we developed a self-supervised process in simulation to automatically discover the task-relevant regions for grasping. The perfect labels can be retrieved from simulation for free. The accumulated grasping experience finally lead to a soft probabilistic representation as shown on the right. To verify the effectiveness, we conducted experiments over densely cluttered scenarios composed of real industrial objects with challenging properties. Therefore, our contributions can be summarized as below. Here is the approach overview. The task-relevant grasping is formulated as joint probability of task success as well as grasp success. Given Bayes rules, the joint probability can be factorized as the power of PG and the conditional probability PT given G. Next, we will introduce how to compute each. To learn PT given G during offline, for each grass pose, the task is simulated. Given the grass pose and the meshes, the contact points can be computed, and their statistics are updated by counting joint task and grasp success and the total grasp success. The accumulated hand object contact experience eventually results in a task relevance heat map shown on the right. To learn PG, for each object instance, we sample grasps and identify their robustness score. These grasp poses paired with the scores are used for two purposes. First, it's stored as the grasp codebook of the training object instance. Second, it's used to train the grasping QNet to predict the grasp score given the scanned point cloud of the dense clutter. The grasping QNet can reason over all point cloud geometry to be applied to novel or non object shape during the testing. Our proposed Nunox representation allows to unify the object instance into a canonical space where dense correspondence can be established to aggregate each training object instance's knowledges. The camera takes the point cloud of the scene and performs instance segmentation, predicting Nunox representation, transferring category level hand object contact experience heat map, hybrid grasp candidate generation via transferring grasp codebook and assembling over observed point cloud, and finally compute the best grasp to execute. To evaluate the grasp stability, a lifting action is performed. For further evaluation purpose of task relevance, the robot is manually jogged to a good viewpoint for scanning. In hand, the 60 object pose is determined by human for placement planning, as it is beyond the scope of this work. The grasp is counted as task relevant grasp only if it is both stable during the process and it results in a downstream placement success. For grasp failure or task irrelevant grasps, the attempted object is still removed from the clutter to continue the process. Here shows an example of successful task relevant grasp. Our framework only needs to train once in simulation and can be instantly applied to various instances within the same category in the real world, particularly for the HMM category. Although the demonstrated two instances vary greatly in all three dimensions, the proposed Nunox allows to scale independently in each dimension when converting to the canonical space. Therefore, more fine-grained dense correspondence can be established to transfer category-level task-relevant grasp knowledge reliably. Finally, we demonstrate comparisons with several baseline methods on similar prior configurations. Our method is able to consistently output both stable and task-relevant grasps, whereas for baseline methods, failure cases include grasp failure, grasping two objects, gripper obstruction, or arm collision during placement due to undesired grasp poles. For more details, please check out our paper and code.